Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and the MikeWagnerShow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author, Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon. Other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on themikewidenershow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, TuneIn, Pandora. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalayan, Overcast, and more. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a terrific, multi-talented actor. And also, he's been in quite a number of productions. He comes from uh, the other side of the pond, which is Sweden. And he's been in the States for quite some time. And he's been in Betray, Bennett's Song, Moving Parts. And um, he also began martial arts at the age of seven. So you don't want to get this guy mad, first of all. So he's also a founder of Painter Creek Productions, and also he was in Agamemnon's Gate, Eternal Code, My Breaking Point, Deceitful, and he's worked with a number of great actors and actresses like Mel Novak, Richard Tyson, 
Billy Worth, Tom Sizemore, Dennis Haskins, Corbin Benson, Tar Reed, and a lot more. And live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful somewhere in downtown Michigan, along the Motor City, and brought us Harley with, ladies and gentlemen, the very, very multi-talented Harley himself. Harley Wallen. Harley, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs> hey, Mike, how are you? Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Well, it's great to have you on board as well, too. And, um, you know, I've seen some of your wonderful films like Betray, Bennett's Song, Moving Parts. And, of course, you, you're you born in Sweden. You've been in the States for quite some time. And um, mm-hmm. you have a really interesting story to tell. I'd like to hear more about that. And you also began as a dancer on a Swedish TV show, also founder of Peanut Creek Productions. And you've also been in Agamon Skate, Eternal Cove, My Breaking Point, and more. And worked with Mel Novak, Richard Tyson, Tom Sizemore, Tar Reed. And before we get into all that, tell us how I first got started, Harley. Well, that, that was actually if I was a, a martial artist and a break dancer. Uh, and I keep hearing the stories my mom told me. I was five years old. I was watching the old Tarzan movies with uh, Johnny Weiss Miller. And I said I was going to move to America. I was going to become a movie star. Um, <laughs> and it was kind of funny because I didn't follow that path at all until, um, you know, with my with my break dancing and with my martial arts, it kept bringing me opportunities. So we did a youth against violence film, but I wasn't really bit by the bug. And then I got cast to be on uh, uh, Sulstolana, which is a big cult show in Sweden. And um, it was originally just supposed to be as a dancer. It was a cabaret style show. And uh, when they needed uh, bit players to go buy suntan lotion and all those type of things, they would ask us instead of bringing in uh, actors for those. Uh, so I started hanging out with the actors and I started seeing the process of acting and I just fell in love with it. Wow. So that was that was how it started. Wow, that is amazing. I can imagine you coming to uh, America. Me, Tarzan, you, Jane. Need suntan lotion. <laughs> it was really interesting. When I first moved here, I had really long hair. I was uh, I had that Fabio look. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I kept getting typecast, typecast, typecast. And I remember at the time asking my manager, because I wasn't paying my bills with, uh, with getting just the bit player stuff. Uh, so I asked my manager, what do you think I can do to get some kind of steady work? And he said, but if you cut your hair off, you'll be more mainstream and you'll be more open to other things. And the funny thing is when I cut my hair off, it's like I lost a bit of my confidence because I was so used to having my long hair. I looked, I didn't know what to do with it. So it took me a little while to figure out. But while I was figuring that out, my corporate business side, I just kept getting promoted and promoted and promoted. And, uh, and. Okay. Harley, you still with us? Harley, Harley, are you still with us? I'm fighting. Um, and that, and that was kind of it. Wow, that is amazing. I got to say that. And of course, um, you know, if, if you cut the hair off, it's like, you know, I, I try that long hair. So you're like, after a while, but I know what you mean. You know, short hair is better. And what, and what was that? And what else was that one precise moment that influenced you to say, this is what I'm going to do the rest of my life? It's like, you know, you have these moments here, but what was that one precise defining moment says, this is it? Well, the, I was working as a VP with the local YMCA running their personal training division. And uh, they laid me off because they were downsizing. And I remember I looked at my wife, we'd made a couple of short films and I said, I don't know why I feel like I need to pursue the filmmaking. We have a little nest egg aside. What do you think? Um, And she said, if that's what you feel you should do, Let's go for it because this will probably be the only shot we have at it. Uh, it was really weird because there was such such a scary conversation to have uh, where you really don't know if it was going to go or not. Um, you know, the first couple of films, not even making a paycheck, putting everything that was us into the films, um, not knowing if it was going to be our last film or not. But it taught me a lot of really valuable lessons. It taught me that if you put everything that you have into what you do, you can be successful. It's not all about money. It's sometimes about effort, heart, guts. It's about all these other intangibles. And we talked briefly about Joe before this, my my manager, Joe Williamson. It's also about having the right team around you. Uh, And and I'm I'm blessed to have found Joe, who's been amazing and 
and taking such good care of me um, uh, that that's a big part of it too. Having my wife, who's this really stable cornerstone, having, uh, you know, Joe, who's a really stable cornerstone and some of my business partners that, that, uh, that have been supporting me since we started this journey. Mm-hmm. And it's amazing too. And of course, um, experience also goes into it as well. Like say you, you build some experience and you can also, you know, take it to your future employers, future investors, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And this is what I've done. Although it may have been like, you know, a flop of most people's eyes, hand and everything. Mm-hmm. It's also an experience. They can say, Hey, at least it did something. I mean, I, I can relate to some things where I got in some ventures and I can speak for many others. You know, they got in ventures, yeah. some have succeeded, some have failed, but the ones that failed and say, Hey, I went in there, got some experience. Now let's learn from it. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's what it is. I think, uh, one of the things that I can recommend to any filmmaker out there is make short films until you get all of your stuff together because the risk is much much smaller there uh, when you're when you're playing with uh, with with money uh, so that when you eventually do scale up and make the feature films that you have a strong system in place so that you don't flop when uh, when you're playing with you know big investors' money. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, you know, speaking of uh, films and um, er- everything else, who are, who are some of your favorite actors and um, uh, also films and uh, movies and uh, film directors growing up? Who are some of your favorites? Oh, uh, as far as a filmmaker, I think my, my inspiration, I love Michael Mann. I love the, the thriller of, 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 of Michael Mann. He's so uh, incredible at that. I, I love the Tarantino model. Uh, I understand uh, so many things come from proper casting and, and, uh, and, and, and knowing and understanding acting. So, so that's my filmmaking uh, influences primarily. Um, uh, and then as an actor, there's a lot more. I remember watching, uh, you know, De Niro when he was young and De Niro just blew me away because, and I think a lot of people now who don't, didn't see him in the seventies and eighties, uh, uh, he was incredible from deer hunter to, to uh, Cape fear, to go back and, and look at what he was doing, you know, whether it's the Godfather or just absolutely mind blowing. And, uh, and uh, I really took a lot from that, that seeing him act, just lo- looking physically pretty much the same and displaying a completely different character and I believed every second of it. That was uh, mind mind blowing. Um, and then um, that was kind of what I wanted to do. So I pursued, you know, my acting classes and my acting coaches after I started understanding the process of uh, of uh, you know method acting, so to speak. Mm-hmm. And, and also, you talk about Robert De Niro. You know, you know, going way back when and fast forwarding and uh, teaming up with Al Pacino, who is similar. Yeah. To De Niro. What are your thoughts on the Irishman? You know what? I I really enjoyed it, but I'm I'm built differently from the era of films that were slow burn that uh, we didn't need the instant gratification. Uh, if you look at several of my films, they have a slow burn and a takeoff. Uh, I enjoy that. I understand a lot of people get frustrated with it. The only negative I have with the Irishman is I think that uh, the de aging did not work as well as they thought it would. Uh, I've seen uh, YouTubers do a better job at the de-aging uh, than they did in the film. I would say that's probably um, that's probably the negative, but I, I enjoyed the storytelling. I think the the shots are amazing. I think you know when you're looking at, at, at spectacular filmmakers and spectacular actors, um, how do you not hit a home run? I think uh, I think it was really well made. Mm-hmm. And of course, for three hours as well, too, which for people with instant gratification may be long, but for those who are yeah. movie buffs, three hours mm-hmm. was well worth it. And of course, it I was. Like, I took time on my schedule with my wife and said, just set aside three blocks, just get a bunch of popcorn and a lot of drinks. <laughs> and just punch slowly on the iron. Yep. I said, we're going to be here a while, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I really, I really enjoy when we do storytelling right. Uh, I've had a couple of people review my films and they say the movie started a little slow. They could have cut some of that out. And then they talk about how much they loved it. And I'm like, the reason you loved it is because we did all the setups and because you did fall in love with the characters because we established them and you got to know them. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's why you loved 
all the good things that you said afterwards were said because of what I did, uh, but they can't connect the dots um, uh, sometimes. But, but there is something special to storytelling when you allow the story to brew. Uh, just have a little bit of patience and, uh, and it'll be all worth it. I, I think that's something we need to tell all the uh, youngsters out there who are into instant gratification. Lessons learned from her, Harley Wallen. Well, speaking of films, uh, with storytelling, we'll talk about some of the films you've been in. But first, listen to the Mike Whitener Show at the themikewhitenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800. 303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also check out the list novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real life events that go through four countries, two strangers and one target where truth is an illusion and the ones you love be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon of the retailers available on all formats today. Also the Mike Wagner show can be heard on the Mike Widener show.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, TuneIn, Pandora, and more. Plus heard worldwide on Geo7, Ray of Public, Himalayan, Overcast, Shoutcast, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with uh, the multi-talented actor and also behind-the-scenes guy Harley Wallen here on the Mike Widener Show. And we talked about um, his upbringing in uh, Sweden, began martial arts and breakdancing at seven. He was on the popular Swedish TV show. And um, also he's uh, been in Agamemnon's Gate, Eternal Code, My Breaking Point, Deceitful, and also... Betrayed, Bennett Song, Moving Parts. We'll talk about an upcoming film in just a minute. Right now, let's uh, talk about some of your movies you've been in and um, tell us more about it, like starting with your first one. And I'm trying to look, Donate or Else, or you can start with Broken, Set Me Free. So tell us about some of your films and which one you like to start with. Well, the very beginning of things were the short films Set Me Free and Broken. Uh, they were the ones where we tried to figure out if we knew enough to even uh, to even uh, do this at all. Um, and and, uh, and uh, the, the truth of the matter is we actually learned that we were not equipped to make film. We were we did not know enough. So uh, what we did separately after the two short films is that we pursued uh, uh, education. So Walbert, my my partner. Uh, went and learned the technical side of things. He learned to do audio and video very well. And I went to film school, uh, uh, rocketjump.com. It's an online film school. And, uh, and I pursued uh, directing uh, by, by doing so. And then our n- next big venture was uh, moving parts. We brought in a director, uh, Jerry Hayes, who's still a good friend and a mentor for me today. Uh, we brought him on board. So I co-directed with him so I could so I could learn what it really looks like to direct the film. And um, that, so that was, that was the kind of the experience to get me started. Mm-hmm. Also, you later um, you know, moved on very things like Deceitful, Moving Part, Bennett's Song, Betrayed, Eternal Goat, and also Agamemnon's Gate, which also um, got some really good acclaim. And uh, tell us more about those. Yeah, Agamemnon's Gate premiered in Beverly Hills uh, in February of this year. And it was a really wild ride. Uh, it was our first attempt at a horror movie. And, uh, and I wanted to make it, um, you know, with the greats in mind, like, you know, uh, uh, Stephen King is a big influence for me. Uh, I love Hitchcock. I love Wes Craven. So I wanted to build my story the way they used to, where it was a fantastic story. And then the, what happened was horror rather than just buckets of blood and, and, and no story to things. So we were pretty nervous if there was going to be an audience that would be receptive to, um, to that style of movie still. Uh, it, it was really amazing when we found out it's sold to Mexico wow. and it's dubbed and it's, uh, you know, we, we've, uh, it's done pretty well around the globe. Uh, and we've done that before, but doing that with a horror film built uh, in the olden ways and the olden days um, with with strong storytelling, strong drama 
and then horror being an element in the film. Mm-hmm. That but, is uh, that was fun. <laughs> it, it, it sounded like a lot of fun, and boy, I I, I can imagine you know, being in Mexico and um wanting wanting to uh, see that movie as well too. And of course, you also worked with some great people like Mel Novak, Richard Tyson, and uh, yeah. Billy Ware, Tom Sizemore, Dennis Haskins. Corbin Benson, Tar Reid, and, um, you know, tell us about those guys and uh, what's it like working with them? Well, yeah, on uh, Agramont's Gate, I had Jan Birch and Laureen Landon, uh, two kind of cult icons, you know, Jan Birch from The People Under the Stairs, uh, uh, which is going to have his 30th anniversary next year, uh, and then Lauren Landon from Maniac Cop and, and so, some other uh, same thing, cult films. Uh, but then the ones you're talking about, some of the bigger names like Corbin Bernson, uh, we just released a sequel to Bennett's song called A Bennett Song Holiday, and it just released a month ago. And uh, Corbin was, he was breathtaking. That guy can still just throw down with the best of them. Uh, him, Tom Sizemore, Richard Tyson, uh, some of those guys are just absolutely still have it all. And when you put them on screen with good direction, good lighting, and and a good and a good uh, cinematographer uh, to allow them to be captured, they still have it. They're still absolutely breathtaking. Uh, Corbin, if you get a chance to watch, uh, if you're into holiday movies, a Bennett song holiday, he plays about as strong of a villain as you can in a family movie. He is he is a hoot, and he is definitely. Uh, uh, I remember when we had our we had our an online premiere because we are now living through this mess of COVID, so we couldn't go out and do our our regular red carpet. But he he said because he hadn't seen it before, he said Harley, you could have told me I came off a little too strong for a family movie, <laughs> and I said no, I love it because in all honesty, the kids can handle a villain. They 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 have bullies at school, so so to see a villain is not. It's not bad. Uh, he definitely pulled it off. He was amazing. It, it sounds amazing. I remember he was in L.A. Law in his beginnings, and I remember he was in Major League, and I thought, wow, that was just a hilarious movie. He can do it all and just about everything. And I remember watching Major League, and <laughs> I still crack up every time I see that movie. <laughs> That's a great movie. He was also in Psych, uh, a series that I believe was on Sci-Fi, and uh, and it was he was really good. He played the the I think it was the dead father of one of them, and and he kept coming in and giving his uh, his uh, five cents on things. It was a really really good uh, as well. He he's a phenomenal actor. Mm-hmm. And and of course you know not only you being in films, you also like to uh, be in your own film. So talk about your company, what's coming up, and more. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author and being Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing. An extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon. Other retailers available on all formats today. Also, the Mike Widener Show can be heard on the MikeWidenerShow.com and over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, and Apple. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, TuneIn, and Pandora. Heard worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalay, and Overcast, Shelfbox, and more. Take the Mike Widener Show on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with actor and the very multi-talented Harley Wallen here on the Mike Widener Show. We talked about some of the films he's been in, Betrayed, Bennett Song, Moving Parts, and a lot more. And talked about a little bit about the Bennett Song holiday. And um, we're going to uh, maybe talk a bit about that. But first, uh, you're also... Uh, T- tacked on a new title on you, which you're the founder of Painted Creek Productions. And uh, tell us more about that. Yeah, Painted Creek Productions is my production company, me and my wife, Katie. We uh, co-founded that uh, back when we started making feature films and, uh, and never looked back. But yeah, that's the, that's the production company, the umbrella that we 
make all these films under. So uh, yeah, it's been a been a great ride. Mm-hmm. And, and what are some of the projects you've done and what do you got upcoming for us under Painted Creek? So under Painted Creek, we started with Moving Parts. It's a whodunit uh, uh, thriller. Uh, we went into Enigma, which is a, a supernatural thriller. Then we did Abstruse with Tom Sizemore. Uh, uh, that's, uh, I wanted kind of uh, to learn a little bit of the beginnings. I, I thought to myself, if there was a prequel to American Psycho, what would it look like? <laughs> that was pretty much what I did. I, I thought of, to myself, like, how did he become what happened to create this uh, this insanity within him? So that's almost what uh, the, the, the template for uh, Abstruse. After that, we did the original Bennett song, and, and that movie has done incredibly well. It's, uh, it's uh, on network TV now, Fuse TV. It's on Super Channel. Um, so it's done incredibly well. And that's a family romantic comedy. Um, and then we went from there to Betrayed, which is a very dark turn. That's a, a human trafficking film. John, uh, John Savage is in it. He's another guy that's absolutely breathtaking. Um, um, he, was, he was somebody that I can't wait to work with again. Um, very, very impressed with him on screen. Then uh, we moved on from that, and the next project was Agramon's Gate, uh, and that was the horror film we just touched on. Then we made Eternal Code, uh, and Eternal Code has probably been one of the more acclaimed so far. We've had a lot of people really like it. It's done incredibly well uh, internationally. I believe it's in, in 30 countries now. Wow. Um, so it's been dubbed into three languages, which I think is cool. I can't wait to get my paws on a copy uh, and, and hear myself in Spanish and French and German. Uh, <laughs> and, and, and don't forget Sweden, too. It's like, hear yourself in Sweden. <laughs> uh, well, Sweden, Sweden doesn't dub. They subtitle. Oh, really? Okay. Why, yeah. why is that? I thought every country uh, did their own um, you know, you know, dubbing in their languages. I thought mm-hmm. every country did that. No, most countries speak English well enough that subtitles are less invasive. Uh, so they stay uh, closer to the true storytelling. Because obviously, when you hire uh, an actor to dub it, uh, you, you know, you're, gonna, you're not going to get the same level uh, of enthusiasm and, and, and fullness generally. Um, so most countries actually don't do that anymore. There's only a few left. Uh, it's mostly Spanish speaking, German, and French speaking countries that uh, that still do the dubbing uh, most other c- countries are comfortable enough with the english that subtitles do better it, so uh, yeah it, it maybe think of uh, all the uh, chinese films with um jackie chan and uh, bruce lee where they have all the uh, english in there oh, yeah. i just crack up every time i hear that <laughs> it, it's comedy and action <laughs> yeah yeah i can't wait i want to see that so bad i want to see uh, the, uh, all of our films that have made it you know, to all the, these different countries and, and, and hear them in, in the different languages. It'd be a lot of fun. I, I think I'll take on a project where I'll be in a film. I like to have uh, someone dub me in those languages. I think that's going to be a lot right. of fun. You're right. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and, so, and, and where can we find all your films at? Uh, they are all on Vudu, uh, and most of them are on Amazon. Uh, the catch with when you sell the license to a TV station, uh, it can't be on two of them at the same time. So because Bennett's Song and Eternal Code especially has sold to networks, uh, they're not always available at Amazon. But they're the, but right now they're all on Voodoo. They're all on Voodoo. Okay, so so we'll check those out here. We're here we're here with Harley Wallen here, the Mike Wagner Show, in just a few more minutes here. We're of course a big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. And what can we expect from you guys in 2021 and beyond, Harley? Well, 2021 has probably uh, the film that has the biggest chance of truly breaking us into the mainstream. I have a horror film uh, called Ash and Bone. And I remember I talked to my writer, uh, Brett Miller, and I said, I want to, my next step in this, I want to do something that has the feel of House of Wax, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Hills Have Eyes that 2000 to 2007 maybe look and feel. And, uh, and we talked a lot about where we would go with that story. And he wrote a fantastic script. And uh, we are in the final stages now of finalizing a trailer 
and the film is is just significantly better than anything we've done. Um, so I'm really curious what's going to happen with this. I really do think it could break as mainstream. We have terrific performances. Jamie Bernadette from uh, 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 I Spit on Your Grave, Deja Vu, uh, is one of our main characters. We have Mel Novak that you've mentioned a few times, who's been in a couple of films with me. He plays a terrific role in this. Um, and then some some other amazing Jimmy Doom from uh, Kill the Irishman uh, is in it. Uh, a, a very very strong cast. Um, so I, I I can't wait for that to be out. I think Ash and Bone is going to absolutely uh, set set the world on fire. Um, hoping that we're going to be again taking that film mainstream. And then we're making a follow up. So right now we're in. Uh, uh, fairly early pre-production but we have a, a vampire uh, story brewing called Beneath Us All and what we're essentially doing is we are rebooting the origin of vampires from a Viking origin instead um, and so instead of Romania instead of Dracula we're rebooting the whole thing the origin of, of vampires is, is Viking in this, uh, in this tale and it's a uh, it's a really good script. Brett Miller, again, did something absolutely amazing, and, and I can't wait to pursue that. And then we have what will be our biggest uh, project to date. We have um, a true story. Uh, anybody who watched Inside Evil with uh, Chris Cuomo uh, have seen this. There's a big case about domestic violence that went really wild. Um, a woman with two boys and and her uh, now ex-husband. Uh, and we are essentially doing a, a, a true life story, telling her story and what happened uh, to her. Uh, and that's going to be what we shoot next uh, summer of 2021. That That's going to be very impactful. The script is already written. Uh, Jeffrey uh, Calhoun wrote it. And this guy, he he, I mean, this is the best script I think I've ever read. Um, so this is going to be a tremendous journey. And especially getting the opportunity to tell a true story. It's uh, exciting and a bit intimidating. Wow. That is a lot on a plate. And I'm so looking forward to this smorgasbord. You've got a heck of a future, Harley. And I got to say that. And definitely keep us up to date and keep updating frequently. It sounds like you've got a lot going on. And maybe even the 2022 and 23. I'm so looking forward to it, Harley. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's amazing. We, did, we didn't even touch on the TV series. Uh, we're actually meeting with our executive producers today and screening the first two episodes. Uh, we have a crazy big buzz on this TV series. Wow. Uh, where it's, it's a story that takes place. Um, it was kind of an interesting story how this happened. But my uh, uh, the, the guy who wrote the original script to this and had the original pitch for this met with me and he said, I've been watching you do with this for a while. And he's like, I, I think you fit to, to play the main character, Nick, uh, who owns the strip club and all kinds of crazy things happens too. Uh, and it's kind of in that breaking bad, the good, bad guy, the bad, good, but good guy, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I looked at the script and I'm like, this is phenomenal, but this is written for Hollywood. This is written with a Harvey Keitel or, or a main name that's, that's a powerhouse that can carry a whole series. I said, I don't think that that's realistic to do independently. I think we need to, to broaden this a little bit. So we ended up having a conversation. They loved my ideas. Uh, so between Tevis Markham and Steve Kapira, me and my wife, we, we widened this story. We added all the things that you, um, you know, I feel like we've lost a lot of man shows over the last 10 years. You know, The Sopranos is gone. And that was something that men loved to click on and watch. It's something for us. Uh, we had uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy. We, we loved it. We watched it. It was something for us. And there's not a whole lot of that anymore. I think the Ozark is probably the closest thing I can think, but that has even mellowed out and become kind of a... Um, um, show for anyone mm. but we kind of took that approach to to bring those elements back when we rewrote it and uh like i said the first two episodes are complete the other six episodes are in post audio 
and uh, we're picking a sales rep for uh, for the TV series uh, this probably this week, uh, and and then we'll see where it lands. But it's it's something that I think has no limit. It's a phenomenal story, uh, and I'm blessed to be a part of. And, and don't you and don't you forget about it. Don't forget <laughs> about it. <laughs> you mentioned Sopranos, I think. Yeah, forget about it. But then in this case. Don't forget about it. <laughs> Don't forget about it. <laughs> That's right. And, and who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Harley? My mom. My mom is the biggest influence of anything I've ever done. Um, she's kind of like my guiding light. Uh, I still talk to her, um, you know, pretty much every week. And uh, and uh, she's back in Sweden still. But she's just uh, she's just the 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 perfect mom who always cares, always listens, always smarter than you. Uh, she's just, yeah, she's just perfect for, ain't, for me. Ain't, ain't that the truth? Don't how parents are these days, especially moms. It's like they claim to be smarter than you, but deep inside they still want to learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, yeah, she's been, she's been a great influence because such gentle guidance uh, and mostly just listening to me and letting me figure stuff out. Uh, but I think it's very important as a parent to allow that, to allow kids to figure themselves out, to give them strong boundaries, uh, and then and then allow them to figure it all out because it's not that easy. And uh, she was really good at that. Exactly, you're right. And of course, we're in a society. I hate to say where parents just overlook everything. I mean, I remember growing up. There are times I had to figure things out myself, and I actually did a lot better than when parents did it for me at times, you know, no yep. offense to them out there, but it's like, you know, yep. you grow older and know you're like, Hey, I can figure this out, give you confidence. And of course, I mean, how else are you going to learn mistakes? You know, that's the, yeah. it's very important to you. Right. And for your parents out there, please listen up, especially Harley. He knows all about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. It's, it's pretty wild, but, but I think that you're right. I think p- parents are either helicopter parents or they're almost negligent and, and not not involved. And and I, I think you gotta find that happy medium of of guiding without steering. Uh it's 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 tricky, but uh allow the kids to, to screw up um because that's how they're gonna learn a lot. Mm-hmm. It's exactly right. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Well, I think the biggest thing is to not not give up. If you feel called to act or make films or in in all truth, whatever your, your, your desire is, as long as it doesn't harm anybody else, um, it's planted in you for a reason. It's, it's a seed within you for a reason. Don't quit on it. I, uh, you know, when, when I, when I, when I had my first summer job in Sweden, when I was in college, uh, I, I took care of uh, elderly uh, people that were kind of in home care and to listen to them, None of them regretted how much money or, or how much stuff. Those things didn't matter anymore. The only thing that mattered was family, if, uh, pursuit of happiness, pursuit of, 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 of wisdom, uh, and, 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 and the ability to actually have something to account for at the end of their life and say, I created this. Not a single one said, I wish I worked more 12 hour days, uh, uh, you know, not, not, not a single one said, I wish I had another 100000 in my bank account. It, <laughs> all those things that matter so much to us don't matter at the end of the day. And the sooner we figure that out, the better off we are. And that's a good lesson learned as well, too. Once again, Harley Wallen, actor and also owner and founder of Penny Creek Productions and the Mike Widener Show. Harley, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep this up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can people uh, purchase or check out your works? Oh, absolutely. Uh, like I said, most of my films are available on hard copy. So if you're a collector... Uh, you know, you can hop on Amazon or or or, or most of the outlets that have uh, DVDs. Uh, if you're looking for uh, the 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 online VOD, uh, again, most of them are on Amazon. Most of them are on Vudu, and and uh, a bunch of them are on on you know your Xfinity or AT and T or or whatever cable uh, as well. So so they're easy to find. As far as finding me, uh, Harley Wallen on Facebook is probably the most interactive place. My, my page is open, so uh, uh, if I'm full on friends, which happens a lot, 
uh, uh, you can just follow and you can still interact with me as if you were a, a friend on my page. So that's a great place. I also am very active on Instagram. So uh, feel free to follow me on official Harley Wallen. And uh, uh, we also have uh, Painted Creek Productions on Instagram and Facebook. I am on Twitter, but you're probably going to be really disappointed because I don't like the I, I'm not a big fan of Twitter. It's not as interactive uh, as the other as the other sites. So uh, so Facebook and Instagram would probably be the two best places. But if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Harley the Swede back from my fighting days. Uh, my uh, it has my fight name on there. So uh, if you if you want to hang out with me there, go ahead and do so. Sounds fantastic. Once again, Harley, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Thank you, Mike. So keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch and keep dishing me updates. It feels like I'm at a banquet right now. You're just fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a bunch. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers Designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mosinzia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamosinzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mosin Zia. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.